Hey, so the purpose of this video is to show you how I went from idea to this working sports card slab pricing app. And I did this in two hours one night. So I just wanted to show how the app works because people are curious and how I built it with Replit. Basically, the idea of the app is you can scan any kind of sports card that's been graded and get a quick price comparison in eBay. So if you don't know anything about sports cards or Pokemon cards, you can pay a company to have them encased in plastic and then graded with a number one to 10 on 10 being like mint right out of the box, best condition. Those are going to be the ones that are worth the most. And there's this thing in collecting called comps, which is pretty much how you price stuff in your collection. And it can vary. There's all sorts of sites where you can go look at prices. So this is price charting and this is like my little collection right here. And you can look at individual cards, what they're worth over time. And this one mostly pulls from eBay. And then PSA cards itself has a tool in here where you can also see recent eBay sales. So eBay is the source of truth in collecting, even though there's other marketplaces to sell them on. A lot of these tools, Card Ladder is another one have coverage gaps in the recent sales data. So what most people do is they go into eBay, they search the card because eBay's search is better than most of these sources. And they look at the most recent listings that have been sold and will take either highest price for that if it's like in the last couple of weeks or most people will just take the most recent price. But again, people don't want a higher price. So sometimes they'll do like an average. So that's pretty much how you get your comp is you go to eBay and look at recently sold. So I wanted to make an app that just quickly does this because it's so many steps to go through and click and do an eBay. So what I did was I described the problem to Replit and I added some screenshots of a PSA grading label. And so PSA is like one of the big graders. There's PSA, BGS, CGC, SGC, Arena Club. PSA is probably like most of the market share. So I gave that label as an example. And so now the problem basically is, can we identify the card, pull the information from the label and then query it on eBay? So the good news is all the card data we need to put into eBay is right here and it's really nice. So it's got the set that the card came from, the name of the card, and then this is like rarity in Pokemon. And so it's going to be different for baseball, football, basketball, but those will be similar. And then it has the grade over here, this five and this 10, and then the card number two. So there's each little card has a serial number somewhere like in the bottom right or bottom left that makes it identifiable in its set. And then what you're seeing this barcode and this ID is the PSA ID number to make it unique and to verify that it's real. So I had this problem to solve and I didn't know how to do it. And when I don't know exactly what APIs to work and I just want an MVP, I'll just find an open AI endpoint that can do it. So I found the images and vision for 4.0 endpoint. And so you have to input one of these image types. And first my images were like over 20 megabytes. So I had that problem. So what I had to do was ask Replit to compress the image before it sends it. That was the first bug I ran into. And then it just started getting it. It would identify the card every time right away. Maybe I'll show an example real quick. We're going to upload. And we'll do just this Charizard. So I know people are probably cringing that you can use like an image parsing. I don't even know library to pull this information because it's clearly just like text. But I think it's pretty amazing that I can just set up OpenAI and have it do this with 100% accuracy so far. It's pretty incredible. So then the next problem is we need to get that data from eBay. And what I like to use for stuff like this is something called Appify. And basically what it is, a bunch of, there's a library here of a bunch of different scraping agents that people have set up for you. And you can develop your own too. And if you develop your own, you can even rent them out to people and make money. So like this eBay one, I had a free trial, so I actually don't know if it's working right now, but it's $50 a month plus usage now. And I think I was like a six thousandth 
of a cent per 10 pages of results pulled from eBay. And so I have it set up to take in an eBay search URL. So if we take this, that's what it's going to search. And so what this app is doing is taking this label information and then constructing an eBay search URL. So that's pretty cool. And then it's going to feed that into my little scraper agent here, which is just a, I believe it's like a headless, it's like a Chromium instance that scrapes on like a virtual machine somewhere. You'll see in the store that a lot of these you're basically paying for like Cheerio or Beautiful Soup or some kind of scraping agency agent that runs like in a Chrome instance on a virtual machine and gathers data. Yeah, you can scrape anything with Appify. It's super, super versatile. And you just got to play and they have documentation for each little actor. So you might have to run it through ChatGPT or Replit to figure out how to use their individual parameters. But yeah, it's pretty good. And you can put it in an automation sequence with make.com or n8n2 and it becomes super powerful. So let's see if it did the price here through Appify. Oh, let's see if it ran in Appify actually. Okay, so it hasn't run yet. I think maybe I don't want to get charged for this. <laughs> I think maybe my trial for using this actor for free is over. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's not gonna work. But I have a backup and it's just open AI doing this for me and so i noticed in chat gpt that if you put in a picture of the card it finds the pricing pretty well now if you just ask it and let's see we got the market value at, at 1200 till 50. okay yeah that's off the right is a yeah so we you can see here we have one for 1900 and one here for 2500. I think this is shadowless one. And so the problem is that I think OpenAI, the main endpoint is only trained up to 2022 or 2023. So it's not going to know like that card data, whereas ChatGPT is trained on more recent data. So I need to either do endpoint shopping, find a better OpenAI endpoint, find one that can browse the internet or find like perplexity or something else that's trained or can browse the internet on its own. But really what the real solution is going to be is aggregate all of this. So like I'll take in, maybe I'll take in the open AI data if I find a better endpoint, but I would pay for this price charting API and pull what they've scraped from eBay and then card ladder and pull what they've scraped from eBay. And then I don't know if PSA has one, but you get the point I'm going to um, pull in the data from all these places and then maybe deduplicate it and see which auctions are in more than one API and say, okay, that sounds like that's the right price then. And then maybe have AI even look at the prices a little and parse them to see what looks right. At the end of the day, the problem is that everyone is going to list their cards. Their title is going to be different. It's not going to be perfect and match the label. So I may have to have the app do a couple different search permutations for the card to find it. But also these APIs like price trading card ladder do some of that for me. So if I'm able to query, oh, this is a 1999 Charizard and it's a number four card, these should re return pretty good data. And then the other thing that we're doing is we're returning the last five auctions, finding the high price, the low price and the average. So we would do that with this aggregation of data points. And okay, this, so the last thing I wanted to do is just test it on a card that I have here. So I don't know if you can see this. This is a Disney Lorcana card that I have, and it's one of the special like enchanted rares. I have this running on the preview URL and I have that URL on my phone. So I've never done this before. We're gonna just take a picture real quick. Okay, I took the picture and it says it's analyzing. Wow. Okay. So yeah, got, it got the label right there. Perfect. That's pretty sweet. And we're going to save the card to our collection and it got that it was an SGC label. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. I think the next steps are 
definitely figure out the pricing, the best way to do that. But I think this is so good at snapping pictures and taking cards that I could maybe just release the app as is just for organizing your collection and go from there. The unknowns are how to best do that on the app store. Am I going to be able to charge a subscription? Am I going to be able to have users? Like I've heard sometimes it's best just to not have a big user database and just have that as the code that does it. I got to figure out the best way to deploy it to the app store so that they're going to let me monetize it. Like I've also heard you're supposed to deploy apps without monetization so they get approved and then see if you can hot patch those in. You shouldn't be working around the app store, right? Like usually if you're doing stuff above board, it should work, but I've just heard there's lots of little quirks and I believe, okay. So this isn't an expo app. So I'm also going to have to figure out how to port this code to flutter or whatever I need to get it on the iOS store. Yeah. So it's pretty cool that I was able to do this in just two hours with Replit. Shout out Replit. Use my referral code. If you want to learn how to build apps, you can go to my Twitter and I have a link in my bio for the strategy call and how to learn my process. And of course I have my agency's stupid, simple apps. Yeah. That MF subscribe button. Let me know what you guys are working on. If you're interested in this app specifically in testing it, then DM me comment on this. I'd love to have you test it. If you're interested in just learning about these apps, maybe I'll add you, I'll just have a newsletter list for beta testers. It would be a cool way for you to work with me and learn how this app development process goes. So if you want to throw your hat in the ring, I could definitely use some feedback on testing. Yeah, that's it. Peace.